configurations in SOLIDWORKS are really meant to cover just a few areas. One area is sizes. So of this particular screw, you could use different configurations of the same file to change all of these dimensions. You could create all of the different sizes available just by parametrically changing dimensions on a part. And so in SOLIDWORKS, we've got the configuration manager that will show us all of the configurations that are available within a particular part. Now you can create these configurations by changing individual dimensions, but that's not really a very efficient way to do it. Let's still, let's show you how to, how to do it. You double click on a dimension and you determine if this dimension that you're going to change is to be applied to all configurations just this configuration or specified configuration. So you make that selection here and then the box comes up where you can select which configurations you want this change to apply to and then you'll change the number. This method using the modify box is okay if you're making just a couple of configurations but really what you need to do if you're making a lot of configurations or if you're changing a lot of parameters is to use a design table. A design table uh, can be driven by Excel or SolidWorks internal tables and it looks like this. It'll take over your SolidWorks window and it'll look like Excel. You put the dimensions or the features that you want to control across the top and the name of the configuration that you want to create or edit across the left hand side. We've already mentioned that you can change dimensions using configurations but the other thing you can do is suppress or unsuppress features and in this design table we're doing both. Notice that the dimensions listed the overall length at sketch 1 and head diameter at sketch 1 are all using particular dimensions. Notice also that the feature names such as hex drive, head chamfer, and body chamfer have a property in front of them called state. State determines whether they are suppressed, which is S, or unsuppressed, which is U. So in this way it's easy to manage a large number of configurations that control both the size and the state of features on the part. To change between the active feature being shown on the screen you can just double click on the configuration name in the configuration manager. The more likely event is that you're going to see these parts within an assembly and in that case you can right click on the part in the assembly and change the configuration shown. Now assembly configurations can also drive which part configuration is used so as you get higher up the tree the complexity of what you can do with configurations also grows. Now there are some other things that you can do with configurations such as controlling color, custom properties, and things like this. But the essentials are size and suppression state.